Hello and welcome back to Fantasy Star Online Episode 3 Card Revolution, where today we are going to get started on the Arcs story. So give me just a sec while I skip through the character selection here. All right, so we're doing Arcs now. We get to be the ones summoning the creatures. I personally enjoy the Arcs playstyle a heck of a lot more than I enjoy the Hunters, so this will be a thing. Oh, how about a pseudonym? Okay, uh, people call me that too, so one of us is going to have to change. Okay. Incidentally, it's the exact same layout as the morgue, just different colors. Also, I guess this guy is just standing here instead of behind a desk. Also, this guy doesn't have a desk either. R brace, huh? Okay. And you'll know, we're down on Regal. Hello, little robot. Oh. Okay. Hi, Lura. Yep. Okay. Likewise. Eh, he's fine. Okay, how about Endu? That's me. Likewise. Gonna be using you a lot. You're the best one here. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Himself included. Okay. I mean, where else would they have worked? Are they? I break. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Ah, yes. Vilm break. Or perhaps just Wilm. This seems like it's meant to be German inspired, so Vilm. Yeah, we'll call you a break. Oh. Okay. Sure. All right. And here is our quest lady. Do you? Yes. Oh. Uh, maybe? Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure thing. Uh, right, need to go talk to 
red or something to get quest. I like quest. Uh huh. Okay. Already have. What's up, Vice Chief? Guess we gotta go stop the development in Mortis. We're gonna use one of the default decks that they started us with for this first quest. But thereafter, like starting in the next episode, we'll have a deck all our own. No. I already know. Pretty sure he's the one who's registered in the default deck, so we'll be using him. Ever since Mortis Fawns had that earthquake the other day, its bountiful springs have been overspewing large volumes of boiling water. The government's development division, with their rampant overdevelopment, is most likely the culprit. Go there immediately and put a stop to them. Okay. And, yep, minimum threes to get us used to the game. And let's go. So they're overspewing boiling water, you say. Should we really be standing in this water here? We can do better, maybe. I don't even know what this deck has in it. set this lily here. You know, where it can actually reach somebody. Action. And we'll go there. And then the lily can do that, and I can do that. Defense. And we are definitely killing that saber. Paralyzing it too, for good measure, I guess. Now, since Break is always going to be naked unless we get a guard creature, we do need to try and keep him at least a little bit out of harm's way. But that's what we've got creatures for. And I really should have kept that first hand. It was much better. Of course, now that we're against hunters, Defense. we're the ones who have to deal with getting them to become naked in order to do real damage. 
but we get around that by having multiple creatures attacking from multiple angles. We generally get to control the battlefield as arcs. And hello, Hildebear. Does Break have anything special or is he just stats? He is just stats. I mean, he's pretty good stats. 4 TP, 3 AP. But he's just stats. Yeah, let's put this here so that she'll have to take the Hildebear route to get to us. Claw is going to do more than our Lily, so let's see if we can break that sword. Defense. We sure can. That's right, they, like, don't get defense cards for the first couple quests, do they? Draw. Oh, hello, Change. other Hildebear. So as long as we're using this standard deck, it's pretty much the Hilda Bears that are going to win battles for us. Defense. And we cannot save this claw. here, just so that we're a little safer. No. Let's do this. Pretty much guaranteed kill on the daggers. Defense. And then the Hildebear will take away half of her health. That's right, she doesn't have defense stuff. I could have just attacked with it instead of using the Foey. So the reason I moved myself behind the Hildebear like this is mainly that I'm hoping she'll try and kill the Lily. Because if she does, then we can summon in a second Hildebear, and that would be delightful, but something tells me we're not even going to need the second Hildebear. Especially if that dagger is all she sets. All right, cannot save the lily. Change dice. Set. All right, not enough to set the bear and still do things. Uh, what do I have? Uh, nothing I can use. But what I can do Action. is this. Defense. I win. And arcs definitely have one big advantage in that if they've got anything summoned at all, that means they always have the ability to attack at least twice per round. Because each of their summoned creatures can attack, and the story character themselves can also attack. And that's kind of what the game is balanced around with the whole needing to break through Hunter's equipment. Hey, our first Volmer. So, yeah, Volmers just have Guards Demolisher and XP bonus. Okay. Neat. Not a terrible three cost. Great job with job being a proper noun, apparently. I knew I could count on you. Hopefully this will set them back a bit. I still don't have concrete proof that this incident was actually caused by the government, but I'll continue investigating. Red, are you a conspiracy theorist? 
It sounds like you're a conspiracy theorist. The person who sends us to red is tiny compared to the person who sent us to pentaglass. Oh. Or they were just investigating the same thing. Will do. Oh, does it? Okay. Sure. Vice Chief. I wish I had a name for you. Yeah, it's called Via Tubus. Okay. Will do. Let's go talk to people. What are they? Really? They got a milk week already? I think that was a milk week. Is there even a milk week card? I don't recall having ever seen one. Uh, he seems fine. I mean, he's my favorite of all of you. Yeah, he basically doesn't. He gets rampaged just naturally, and it's great. Oh. You, you have a heart? Okay. All right. Sure. Lips are sealed. Hey, Andu, did you know that Lura has a heart? It could. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, he's got more AP than you do for some reason. Probably to keep your rampage in check. Well, at least in terms of numbers on his card, he definitely is. They're neat. I wish I had more real-life ones. I've only got the pack of, I think, five that came with the soundtrack that I got. They're all in Japanese, so when I got them, I had no idea what any of them said. Yeah? It was. Okay. Dang it. Pressed A one time too many. And how about you break? Okay. Sure. Do you? But she uses a shot, not a rifle. Oh, okay. Sure. So, let's actually go build a deck. We might as well. Because I don't want to go on another quest this episode. 
because I want to have a deck for the quest, but it'd be a pretty short episode if I didn't build a deck. So yeah, we're building a deck. So yeah, as we can see, Brake definitely has the best numbers on his card. Like by far. I don't know that any arcs actually beat him in terms of overall numbers. But Lura is a humanoid, so she can see traps. She's got fixed range because that's just how she is. And she's got anti-abnormality because she's a humanoid. So, oh, and also Aerial Assassin, which almost never comes into play unless you're fighting another Arcs. Because, yeah, for a hunter to get Aerial, they have to use the fly uh, assist card. Which basically never happens. And then we've got Endu. He's got Rampage. That's all that's real special about him. But, oh boy. Boy, does it make matches against Hunters so much easier to win. So, for starters, we want our defense cards. And a TP defense for good measure. Now, Endu, more than anyone else, benefits from having guard creatures, but as far as guard creatures go, I think we've only got pan arms. Yeah, we have only got pan arms for guard creatures, so let's put three of those in. Oily slimes absolutely have to go in. They are too good not to. And at this point, we're using a good chunk of A-beasts. So we might as well keep that going so that we can, like, use AB guard. Which we don't have uh, AB attack. Which we don't have. Okay, never mind. We can use things that aren't just A beasts. Get out of here, Volmer. You know, when you compare the Volmer and Govolmer's stats, Volmer looks way better. But Guards Demolisher is nice. I really like AP Silence. Keeps you safe. But we're not going to use Govolmer either. Um, no, nah, we don't really need Bears or Blues. Jigobumas, however. Oh, we've also got Barbels for Guard Creatures. Well, a Barbel. Jigobumas are pretty dang good for three. Like, they're no gill sharks, but they're pretty good. Um, we could drop in a nano dragon. I mean, they've got AP growth. That's always nice. Yeah, might as well. And then Merlin's. So that's that's a pretty solid group of things. Um, can't help but feel like I kind of want like one more thing in here. Probably something not on the upper end of the cost scale. Yeah, go Volmer, welcome back. And now we'll get some slashes. Uh, one long arm. Split boost. And heavy blow. Actually, you know what? We can ditch a slash. So we can just slap a dice plus one in here. Because we do have some things that are kind of high cost. Like, having a dice plus one just gives you a much better chance of summoning things that cost four. And considering things that cost four are the crux of this deck, we want to be able to summon them. Hmm.
There we go. This deck isn't garbage. It's not amazing, but it's not garbage. It doesn't deserve to be called garbage. And that deck should be plenty operable enough for most of the missions in the game. So with that, we will end this episode. Join us next time when we do more questing as arcs. See you then, friends. <laughs>